Hello everyone. Let us look at various tool elements and tool angles in a single point cutting tool. So you can see a single point cutting tool and we have discussed earlier the various tool elements face, shank, cutting edge, flank, nose, then angles like side rake angle, back rake angle, side relief angle, side cutting angle, end relief angle, end cutting edge angle. So this gives the various views. So this is the top view, this one is the front view and this is the side view. So this is top view, this one is the front view and this is the side view of a single point cutting tool. Now let us see these tool elements and tool angles in a single point cutting tool. So this is a cutting tool. Now so this is the top view. So this is the top view of the tool. Then this is the front view. So here you can see the front view and this is the side view. These are the three views, top view, front view and side view. So the first shank. So here you can see shank. So it is the main body of the tool. So this is the shank. It is the main body of the tool. So this one is the shank. Then second one is the flank. So flank is the surface adjacent to the cutting edge and below it where the, when the tool is kept in a horizontal position. So you have two cutting edges. So this, this is the end cutting edge, end cutting edge and this is the side cutting edge. So the surface adjacent to end cutting edge is the end flank and the surface adjacent to side cutting edge, side cutting edge is the side flank. So you have end flank and side flank. So this is the end cutting edge and this is the side cutting edge. So this is the side cutting edge. Then face. So face is the surface against which the tip slides upward. So when the tool comes in contact with the workpiece, material will be removed in the form of chips and the chips will be moving outward through this face. So this is face. Face. Then base. Base is the bottom surface of the tool. So this is the base, bottom surface of the tool. Then you can see heel. It is the intersection of flank and base. So this is the base and this is the flank. So this portion will be the heel. The last one nose. Point where the cutting surface, side cutting edge and end cutting edge intersect. So this is the side cutting edge and this is the end cutting edge. So this point. Point where side cutting edge and end cutting edge intersect. So this will be nose. So this is shank. Then this is the end cutting edge and the side cutting edge. This is end flank and this is side flank. Then this is the face of the two and then this portion is the heel and this is the nose. So these are the various two elements in a single point cutting tool. Now let us go through various tool angles. So first one is back rake angle. So back rake angle is the angle made by the face of the tool and the plane parallel to the base of cutting tool measured in the direction of tool shank. So here you can see in front view back rake 
angle so angle between the face of the tool so this is the face of the tool and a plane parallel to the base of cutting tool measured in the direction of tool shank so this is the shank so measured parallel to tool shank so this is the front view and this is the face so this angle will be this angle will be what we call the back right angle so this will be back right angle back so this will be the back right angle then the next one is side rake angle so side rake angle is the angle between the face of the tool and a plane parallel with the base of the tool measured in a direction at right angles to it so you can see the side rake angle in the side view so this is the side rake angle so this is our side view so this angle between the face of the tool and a plane parallel with the base of the tool measured in a direction at right angles to it so this is the face of the tool this is the face of the tool and the line perpendicular to the direction of or perpendicular to the shank or perpendicular to the base of the tool so this angle will be the so this angle will be what we call a side right angle so you can see side side right angle so this is side right angle and the next one is side relief angle you see it is the angle between the portion of the side flank immediately below the side cutting edge and a line perpendicular to the base of the tool so side relief angle again in side view so this is the flank side flank and a line perpendicular to the base so again in front view uh, sorry in side view you can see so this is the what we call the side flank and a line perpendicular to side flank uh, sorry and the line perpendicular to the base so here you can see the side relief angle so this is the side relief angle this angle is the side relief angle the next one is end relief angle so it is the angle between the portion of the end flank immediately below the end cutting edge and a line perpendicular to the base of the tool measured at right angles to the end flank so end relief angle you can see it in front view so this is our front view so this is the surface or portion adjacent to the end cutting edge so this is the end flank then a line perpendicular to the base so here you can see this angle will be the this angle will be end relief angle end relief angle then cutting edge angle first one side cutting edge angle so side cutting edge angle is the angle between the side cutting edge and side of the tool shank so here you can see it in top view so this is our top view so this angle will be the side cutting edge angle so this is the angle between side cutting edge so this is the side cutting edge and the side of the tool shank so this angle will be what we call the side cutting edge angle then end cutting edge angle so end cutting edge angle is the angle between end cutting edge and the line perpendicular to the tool shank so it is also in 
top view so this is the end cutting edge end cutting edge and a line perpendicular to the tool shank so it will be this angle which will be like this so this angle will be this angle will be what we call the end cutting edge angle this will be the end cutting edge angle then lip angle this is the angle between the tool face and the ground end surface of flank so this you can see in front view lip angle so this is the lip angle so these are the various tool elements and tool angles so this is the shank this is the face this is the end cutting edge this is the side cutting edge this is end flank and this is side flank then this one will be the base then angles so this is top view so in top view you have end cutting edge angle and side cutting edge angle so this will be the end cutting edge angle so this angle is end cutting edge angle and this will be the side cutting edge angle then in front view you have lip angle so this is the lip angle then you have back right angle back right angle then end relief angle end relief angle then in side view you have side relief side right angle side right angle so this is side right angle and you have side relief angle so this one will be the side relief angle so these are the various tool elements and tool angles thank you